the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 114. 1 Kings 5 to 7. Founding 1,000 years of the temple. Solomon launched building the temple on the strong foundation handed down from David, painstakingly built it for seven years and then built his palace for 13 years afterwards. First point. The aid of the 500-year moving tabernacle came to a cross and the new aid of the 1,000-year Jerusalem temple opened. Right after the Exodus, God had told his people that there would be a designated place. God's ark, since then, lasted at the tent of meeting for 500 years, then Jericho, Kiriath Jerim, the house of Obed-Edom, and then the Jerusalem temple. And thus began the 1,000-year Jerusalem temple. Solomon put forth lots of labor to build the temple. With the construction of the Jerusalem temple, Jerusalem became the center not only for religious but for political purposes. Second point, Israel and Tyre made an international treat through the construction of the Jerusalem temple. Solomon used the international relations built during the years of his father between Tyre for the construction of the temple. Tyre actively involved itself in the construction of the Jerusalem temple. Solomon asked Hiram, the king of Tyre, for an architect. The reason Solomon asked Tyre for both an architect and materials was because Israel did not have much trees for wood and lacked technical architects. Tyre had cedar wood and other good materials suitable for the temple construction, and so Solomon requested the help from Hira. In return, Israel provided Tyre with grain and other goods. Third point, Bezalel and Oholiab led the making of the tabernacle, and Adoniram and Hiram led the construction of the Jerusalem temple. 500 years ago, Bezalel and Oholiab dedicated themselves to building the Ark of God on Mount Sinai. Now, it was time to make a temple that would last a thousand years. For this, Adoniram and Hiram were given the job. Adoniram was an especially important person in the architectural construction of the temple. Adoniram was a skilled technician during the days of David, Solomon, and also Rehoboam. A great deal of time, energy, and labors were put forth for the temple construction. 3,300 people overlooked the whole procedure. The ground of the temple was the grounds of Mount Moriah, where Abraham and Isaac had made an offering to God. This was also the same place where David made the offering for the sins of taking census. Fourth point, God's eyes were focused on the heart of Solomon who constructed the temple. The temple construction involved hiring workers from all around in order to complete both the exterior and the interior. The exterior construction of the temple was carried out in a faraway location so that the heating of iron tools would not be heard in Jerusalem. The interior of the temple involved building the walls for the most holy place, holy place, the grounds, and also the court of the Gentiles. Solomon plated the interior of the temple with gold. The outside of the temple is presumed to have been divided for the women, the Israelites, and also the other nations. 
During the process of building the temple, God appeared to Solomon. God acknowledged Solomon's work and also reminded him of the covenant God had made with David concerning the temple. God showed that he cared more about Solomon's heart to build the temple more so than the actual building of the temple. Fifth point. Historically, the temple became constructed twice, according to God's design and once according to political command. The temple David prepared and Solomon built was completed in seven years. The foundation of the temple of the Lord was laid in the fourth year, in the month of Ziv. In the eleventh year, in the month of Bull, the eighth month, the temple was finished in all its details according to its specifications. He had spent seven years building it. The reason it did not take too long was because God had already given them the design. It had also been prepared by David. Moreover, all the materials required were prepared in advance. It also helped that the Israel people were all dedicated to this process. They had skilled workers, and as the design given by God was for a modest-sized building, the temple was not that big. But this temple was burned down by the Babylonian soldiers in 586 BC. Seventy years later, the temple was reconstructed by the captives who returned according to the design given by God. Afterwards, Herod built his temple, but he only cared about the exterior. He replied, It has taken 46 years to build this temple, and you are going to raise it in three days? As such, the temple was built a few times. The first was by Solomon, and then the returned captives from Persia, and then during the Roman Empire. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this habit.